If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Saturday. We got the Ultimate Legend, guys. Pretty excited because there is one Ultimate Legend in particular that I've been pretty much waiting for for quite a while now. And as you guys probably see by the title, that is Patrick Willis. Now, I've been waiting for a Patrick Willis card for the longest time. I've been telling you guys that's going to be the endgame linebacker. The linebacker you want in Madden, the one with the speed, because obviously they've been really jipping us on speed lately. If you guys have been following any linebacker stuff, they've been giving us 91s, 92s, but nothing past that. Patrick Wilson will be getting a 94, so chemmed up, powered up, everything should be getting close to a 98 speed, so pretty excited for that. But we are going to have to get the coin stack up because, as you guys see, I spent a lot of coins on packs, and it has not paid off. Um, to, yeah, it is, it is not paid off in the slightest, actually, not even, not even a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was fun, but it definitely was not worth it, is the difference. Now, I thought I had a Patrick Willis power up here, I guess, and, oh, wait, actually, I probably do, I'd have him powered up, wouldn't I? I know sure as hell I had this man powered up. You mean to tell me I sold this power for real? That was gonna suck, but guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the boys, come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think of these brand new legends. We do have three, of course. Now, guys, just real quick, I'm going to go over the stats, but if you guys are looking to pick up these legends, you guys got no coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, Go by Mo EXP. Just letting you guys know, cheapest coins on, the, on, on like, literally on the internet by far. Use code Poodle for 5% off. And, guys, if you do buy coins, make sure to send me a screenshot of you guys buying some coins. And if you send me a screenshot on Twitter, I will retweet it and follow you on Twitter. Guys, helps me out a lot. As you guys do that, especially going into the Madden 21 season. And guys, the best part about buying coins there, you get a lot for a little bit. So that means you can pick up some coins for rookie premieres coming out in the near future, which is important because rookie premieres do trans uh, they are transferable as well as loyalty. I'd recommend you pick up points for those two things, which is what I'm pretty much probably going to end up buying coins for as well. Is going to be the loyalty program and going into uh, the rookie premieres because of course those are transferable into next year. So I definitely want to get an advantage. In that aspect, now let's look up these new legends. Oh my lord, Randall Cunningham is 29k. That is ridiculous. But let's go. Let's go filter. Wow, that, that is that is crazy. Let's see if they are up on the block just yet, and they are not. Okay, so Patrick Willis is up. 99 overall. Patrick Willis, super cool. I've been waiting for this Patrick Willis for quite a while now. Let's see how he's looking. Six foot one. So the height's great. 94 speed's great. 94 excel's great. 92 strength is great. 97 tackles great. Play rack's amazing. Block shed's amazing. Hit power's amazing. And zone. It's a little bit low, but again, I probably end up using him, so I really don't mind here. As compared to my current middle linebacker, which, wow, Shazier. I mean, I really liked my Shazier. That's the thing, too. Like, I really liked Shazier, so I haven't really had a need to really go ahead and put someone ahead of him. And then with the system I run, the second linebacker just has to really be fast. Let's see, 94 speed, so he's faster. And he can get powered up and chemmed up, so that probably gets to about a 98. So he's going to be the fastest middle linebacker in Madden. Unless you get Shazzy all the way up. 94 Excel, great. 92 Strength is huge. That's going to be, he's going to be one of the strongest linebackers in the game. There might be another one that's close, but not with that speed combo. 97 Tackle, going to be a secure tackler. Fully powered up, chemmed up. Play Rack should be, end up being about a 99 if you do put Lockdown on him. Block Shed's going to probably stay around 95 once you power him up. Hit Power could get to a 99 depending on what you put on him, but he's going to be a 98 once you power him up. And then Zone, Um, let's see, if you, you couldn't get Zone up to a 90 no matter how hard you tried, but you could get it pretty close. But I would just leave it at an 83 if you're going to end up using him anyways. But this card does look super, super, super good. I really do like it. Career edition Willis was selected in the Pro Bowl 7 consecutive years, named Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2007, and tallied 950 tackles in 8 seasons. I always thought that Willis kind of left a little bit early, but he did have health concerns, I'm assuming, and just some longevity uh, concerns. So I can see why he did it. But it was kind of a shock to me when I first heard he was retiring. It always felt like he was on the top of his game, and then one day he just left. I mean, again, I got into football a little bit later. Uh, in his career anyway, so obviously for me, it probably felt like it was early for him, maybe it didn't. But same thing with Keekley, I mean, maybe it's just middle linebackers these days, though. The way they play, the position they play, probably just messes them up. It really messes them up, you know, all the hits they're always taking and giving all day. Especially, you know, for the long-term outlook of their health. And then let's see the next one that we got. So we do have a quarterback next, which is Dante Culpepper. Let's see if he's up on the block as well. This was up pretty early. Dante is not up yet. Let's see, Patrick Willis is priced, by the way. We didn't really talk about that. I think he'll probably end up being in, so he's in, he's a one mil right now. He'll probably end up capping out at around like, I think for today, we might see him in around 600, 500K. 
at the lowest, and then by like a week and another fan appreciation drop, he should be down to like two, three hundred k. Just like Vic got killed, it, it's bound to happen. It's happened to all the legends so far. Willis took him out pretty early now. I believe the LTD was. I want to say it was Cole Pepper, and the kicker wasn't an LTD. If I if I'm not wrong, but this could take a while to find these guys. So I'll be right back. Yeah, so Dante Cole Pepper, 99 overall QB for the Minnesota Vikings is up. He's the LTD. Let's see his stats. Now, guys, I'm be honest with you. I was looking at some of these prices while I was waiting. These prices are so ridiculously cheap. Do not open packs. Do not open up Ultimate Legend packs. They are a waste of coins. You're not getting value for them it's, unless you literally pull the newest one. But, guys, do not open packs. I promise you. I, like, no joke. This isn't just because I'm sponsored. Go buy coins. Like, I've been saying it all year, but specifically now, like, at this point in the year, one million coin surplus, right? Just picking up one set of million coins for a very cheap price can buy you every Ultimate Legend you want. A few golden tickets, like I'm telling you guys. I'd much, I'd much rather you guys go do that than actually wait. And especially if you're wasting real money on packs, please do not do that. But let's get to Cole Pepper stats. 86, 86 speed, 98 throw power, 95 throw short, 93 throw mid, 98 throw deep, 93 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 96 play action. Now, let's see what this card stats look like compared to maybe Patrick Mahomes. Now, he is a strong arm quarterback, so he will not be getting escape artists, I believe, at that speed, which just kind of make him a lot more useless than you guys probably even think. So the speed-wise, about the same as Mahomes. Mahomes is a better throw power. Mahomes is better throw, uh, short accuracy. Mahomes is better at medium accuracy. Mahomes is less deep, but power from Kemdub are going to be exactly the same. Throw under pressure. Mahomes is way better. Throw on the run. Mahomes way better or uh, better enough. And then play action. Mahomes is less. So pretty much there. I would say Mahomes is better than him. And Mahomes gets escape artist. Uh, Dante Culpepper, not a great card in the slightest. Even comparing to Michael Vick, he's more accurate, of course, because he's got the speed. But just the abilities. Like I don't really want a strong arm quarterback. Because Mahomes is a, a, a mixture of strong arm. He gets some strong arm stuff, but also gets some mobile stuff. Vic, the Golden Ticket Vic, and all them. Like, even Golden Ticket Vic and Lamar, they're in the under million already. I'm going to try to have them then pay for an LTD Culpepper. Card is not great at all. I do believe he might have some trucking, though. Which doesn't really matter to me anymore, though, because he can't get a skate artist. He 82 truck. If you can't get a skate artist, you're practically a, useful, you're, you're a useless scrambler this year. So, not too excited for that. I don't believe there's anything on the back that can really save this card. I mean, he is pretty strong. He does have a really nice frame in terms of, like, height and weight. But, like, it's all about abilities this year. And he cannot get the key one, which is escape art. If a quarterback can't get escape bars at this point in the year, they're not good. And people might say, you know, you're not a real pocket passer. But at this point, even the pocket pass is escape. That's like 2K, where Shaquille O'Neal could shoot threes in my team. Like, even even Tom Brady should be getting escape bars at this point with how much quarterbacks. Like, with what golden ticket quarterbacks can do. You're just cheating yourself if you decide you're not going to go the route of taking the abilities they get. And Culpepper's not great. So, so far, Willis is great. Culpepper's not great. Now, all we need left is this kicker, which I believe we did get a kicker today. And I'm not seeing him on the block just yet, which is kind of surprising because the LTD was up. Willis is up. We're not getting the kicker. Now, I'm just going to double check here to make sure it is the kicker because it is taking quite a while for a kicker to be up on the block. So, let's see. Yeah, Jan. I can't say his last name, but Jan something. And, yeah, he's a kicker. Should have been up already. This is taking quite a while, though. Now, don't get me wrong. One of the more lackluster ones, probably, because, I mean, at the end of the day, he is a kicker. But we'll be right back again. All right, so the kicker is finally up. Jan Stenerud. I don't really know how to say his name. Don't kill me. 600K, that's sad. So the first guy to pull this guy, doesn't even, like, usually when you're the first guy to pull an Ultimate Legend, he starts in a mill. Just see what you can get. He already knows this card is not going to get anywhere near a million coins. So he already starts 600K, hoping he can just get something quickly for him. Uh, let's see. The only kicker in the Hall of Fame was selected to the Pro Bowl six times and scored 1,699 points in 19 seasons. So he did play for quite a while. Wow. He has 99 kick power, which is expected, but only 93 kick accuracy. So this is what, this is what bothers me here, right? We have Zane Gonzalez. We had a few guys that with really good kick power. Why would you give us a 99 overall kicker? Like, kickers have two stats in the matter. Power and accuracy. Why would you give us kicker with 99 kick power? It doesn't also have 99 kick accuracy. Because essentially, if you just, if, if, like, at what point do these stats make him a 99? If you look at it, right, 99 kick power, 93 kick accuracy, averages out to about, like, a 96, if anything. And then if you really want to be technical, his awareness keeps him probably, like, at probably still 96, just about 90, yeah, probably 96. So now, if you really want to look at it now, his throw short, and if any of that other stuff matters, he's really just, like, a 10. So, I really don't know at what point they get these overalls based off of, but... It is what it is. I don't think this kicker is all that great. In my opinion, I personally wouldn't pick him up. Unless he's like 50k. Like if he's 50k, I'd pick him up. But you can always go with Zang Gonzalez, someone quite a little bit cheaper, because I believe there are probably cheaper options. But guys, 
That is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on about boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, go down below, comment. And guys, like I said, don't buy packs. Pick up coins instead. It's a much better investment. But guys, I'm out. Peace.